How's it going guys? I'm Steve and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be installing Apple CarPlay to my Mini Clubman. So let's get into it. So depending on which generation you have, you might have a couple of clips in here where you've got to poke it and poke it, cut it out. But with my Clubman, it's literally, you push it in and it comes off just like that. And then there's just a couple of bolts in here. Let's come out. Now, if you can see up here, there's a little cut, uh, cover where it covers sound speaking, probably the air. And you just need something under there just to pry it open. Right, and then all you need is a small little screwdriver to push it down and this all just pops straight in. To get this off, um, you have to undo these little clips first. If you've got the same club as me, you have to take these off first and then it should just come straight out. Just carefully pry them off. And that goes on there. So now, oops, easy. that should just come straight out. Try to find where the hole is. There we go. That took some giving, but we got there. So next bit, if you can see it. You've got to unscrew these, which will bring out the main hard drive, I believe. Right, that should just come forward, lovely jubbly. And then, oops, says it. From what I remember, is you have to unplug this first, which can be a bit of a pain. No, it was nice and easy. When you go into your box of tricks, you find a new loom with the antenna sensor and the USB port, which I won't actually need. Now, depending on what uh, setting your uh, screen size is, it's uh, number two for the regular Mini Clubman one. Now, I am following the manual because this is the first time I'm doing it, but if you're intrigued, on how to actually do it. There you go. So from what it looks like, that goes into there. Put it that way. That should be that way. Push it in, and that locks in. Then this one, which is a little bit tight. Oh, jeez, that is tight. cold as well so that freaking hurt that should just is that locked in geez that's locked in already that goes into there so you might have got a gist of what I'm doing but that plugs into there, that plugs into there, and that plugs into the back of that. So, I'm not exactly sure where we got to, but I had a bit of difficulty trying to get in, and it wasn't starting up correctly. So, what I'm going to do, put this in here first, because there's a lot of wires trying to get, get around. Feed that in there. Because it's a bit snug, trying to get in. So in this way, 
put that in first. Then, where's the antenna gone? Here's the antenna. And you want to plug it out the way so it doesn't get in contact with any metal because it apparently will mess the signal up apparently. So we'll just stick that in there. With all these other wires as well, we just we just tuck them in the back. There's a lot of wires, but you want it just as neat as possible as you can. There we go, stick that, stick that down in here, and plug that in. Okay, jobs are good. There. And it's just hopefully I'll get this straight on. But that is it's a very very snug fit. There's this big block in the way. I don't know if I can push it down there. That hopefully will hold it in. See if it works. Here you go. Hold it for three seconds, and that's it. So I just got to set it up and go from there. All right. Put the dust covers back on. It's one. It should hopefully just clip straight in. See. So, all right, so we've got there eventually. Um, let me just turn it back on and uh, show you. Yeah. So you hold it for about three seconds. Should load up automatically. Sometimes a bit fiddly to get around in my head around it. There we go, we've got, uh, got our maps and music, etc. So, there you go. Like it, subscribe it, you know what to do.